settle Euro International and M Racing YMR. But it's tactics at play. No, he's not. He's hit the wrong side. He might have him. No, he has. On the inside, Miguel Molina. Can Cairoli pull across the row? There's contact, I think, and Cairoli is elbowed off. out. He's off. Almost to make the point that there was contact. Cairoli shortcuts turn seven, and I don't think he's going to be able to cut through. Oh. He stayed in front. Unbelievable stuff. Matteo Cairoli <laughs> off the road. I cannot believe he's going to be allowed to keep this, but still, tucked underneath the rear wing is Miguel Molina. And this time around, despite the Porsche running off the road at seven, he has made the move stick. That was better speed being carried through turn seven. And Molina, the Spaniard, now leads the way. It's not over yet, though, because Cairoli has got his standard. He's off track again. Has the 66 ever been in front, by the way, in the uh, GTE battle? This might be the first oh. lap it leads of the whole race. Unbelievable. It's still traffic, including another GTE car. They, th they come through. JMW on the inside. This time, I think it's done. Porsche can't get through the traffic. And the 66 and being just that bit further ahead. Cairoli's trying anything now. Cairoli is very, very angry indeed. He ran off the road at 7. He's off the road at 11 as well to gain some of the speed back again. Well, the question marks are going to be about the Porsche and the track limits for the 88 because the Ferrari's lines have been exemplary for this final tour. And I think, I have to check the lap charts, but the only lap that this Ferrari has led in the whole race is the winning lap and there is Liam Griffin who is on top of the debris fencing on the pit wall to call his man home Miguel Molina in the 66 Ferrari the JMW motorsport car that he shares with Liam Griffin and Alex McDowell